Hello everyone and welcome to the demo. In this demo, we will learn how to work with inactive task of Project 2010. This is a new feature in 2010, which essentially will cut the task in the project schedule. This feature is basically used by the project managers to manage the scope of the project, perform what-if analysis, manage risk in the project if any, and choose the most appropriate path provided there are multiple ways in getting a task done. Let us consider a small demo to understand inactive task in detail. I have a project schedule here in which to inactivate a task, I can simply click on the task and from the ribbon bar choose inactivate. Additionally, I could just right click on the task and check or uncheck the inactive task option. The moment I inactivate a task, visually you will see in the table area it appears strike through. Correspondingly, in the Gantt chart area, it will have an outline with white solid fill. This kind of appearance indicates that the task is inactivated. One important thing to observe here is the next successor activity, even though has a link, the link will no longer be respected. This is as good as removing the task from the project schedule. So document requirements will now automatically start as though there was no link attached to it. Let us consider some real life examples in which an active task will be very useful. I have a summary task here called updating project server. There are two ways in which I can update project server, either manually upload projects or import all projects at once using some code. Now depending upon the resource availability, depending upon the budget and depending upon other environmental factors of the project, I might choose either of the two ways. Also, the overall summary task duration is six weeks. If I go with manual update, it is going to take seven weeks. So for the time being, I right click and I inactivate manual upload. In a moment, it shows that the overall project summary for updating project server is six weeks and I can import projects all at once within one week. For some reason, if my developer is not available or there are some budget constraints, I can go back to the other method where I deactivate or inactivate the automatic updating of projects and activate the manual update. So now managing the right method of doing a particular task is easy. I can have multiple ways written in my project schedule and I can inactivate or activate task within a click. Considering another example, this project of mine is associated with a particular risk. As a mitigation plan, I have written down three activities which will be used to resolve the risk. Risk is something that is foreseen, it has not yet occurred. So I have inactivated the mitigation plan activities. The moment I know that the risk is going to occur, I would like to mitigate the risk. And so, immediately, I will just activate these tasks for mitigation plan in my project. Very simple, very effective, and very useful for project managers. It's important for you to notice here, the moment I activate or inactivate a summary task, all the subtasks follow the behavior. It's very simple to group or filter the active or inactive activities. I can just move on to view and choose to filter only on the active task. This is as good as working with the original schedule without bothering about the inactive activities. 
Additionally, if you would like to see all the active and inactive activities together, you can also group them. So here I have active and inactive. All my active activities are grouped together and inactive are grouped together. So this is how you can make use of inactive task in project 2010. Let me just go through a few considerations which are important before you work with an active task. Firstly, as we have seen, an active task will no longer be taken into account by the scheduling engine. Secondly, an active task, if have some resource assigned, it will not affect the resource availability at all. Also, if you perform resource leveling, an active task will not be considered. If some actions have been reported over task in terms of percentage completed or actual work, you cannot inactivate that task. If baselines are saved for the project with inactive task, some information for the inactive task will be retained. However, if you save new baselines, the data for an active task will not be included. Finally, if you are in a project server environment, inactive task cannot be published. For the following views like the, the timeline view, the team planner view, network diagram, relationship diagram, and the calendar view, inactive task will not appear. Inactive tasks are more for the Gantt chart kind of views. Lastly, inactive task feature will not be available if you're working in 2007 compatibility mode. And if you save a project file in the previous versions, the, the inactive task will be completed, completely deleted from your project plan. So just a few considerations for you. And once you know all these, you can begin to work with the inactive task feature. Hope this demo was useful to you. If you have any further queries, please feel free to drop me an email at any of these addresses mentioned. Thank you.